In his book on the history of German pietism, Douglas Schantz refers to Johann Arndt as the most significant figure in the entire history of Protestantism, saying that his influence and his impact even surpassed that of Martin Luther. Uh, and this seems like quite an odd statement because Johann Arndt is not a household name. He's not a name that is well known in the same way as someone like a Martin Luther or a John Calvin or even a Charles Spurgeon. Nonetheless, Johann Arndt was extremely significant, ex significant for the entire Christian world, but for the Lutheran church in particular, even though his impact and influence went far beyond that. So who exactly was Arndt? Now, Johann Arndt was born in the middle of the 16th century. Uh, so he was born as the Reformation was already going on. And he attended university at the University of Wittenberg, uh, of course, famously, where Martin Luther himself taught and then Melanchthon after him. He attended there in the late 1570s. And as he attended, that was an era where there was a lot of theological controversy and division. So um, the, all of this controversy and division meant that there were these basically two sides called the Gnasio Lutherans and the Philippists who were arguing about a number of issues. And that was all settled in the, the formula of Concord uh, in the Book of Concord, which was published first in 1580. So Arndt was in the midst of an era of debate, an era of polemics, where people were trying to figure out and nail down the particulars of Lutheran doctrine. Now, after attending the University of Wittenberg, uh, Arndt became a preacher. Uh, he was a pastor, and he went to go preach in Anhalt, where eventually the Calvinists ended up taking over rather than the Lutherans. And because of that, there was a bit of controversy over some of the things that Arndt was teaching and the way that he was practicing. Uh, for example, the Calvinist leaders demanded that Arndt remove all images of Christ from worship, and uh, Arndt refused to do that because he had Lutheran convictions. Eventually, this led to him basically being exiled, being forced out, uh, and he continued pastoring elsewhere. But what Arndt is most well known for uh, is his writings. Uh, Arndt's significance is particularly in his devotional writings. Uh, and in a, one work that is very well known and published in a number of different languages, which is titled True Christianity. Now, True Christianity was by far the most influential devotional work coming out of the Reformation. And by that, I mean the entire Reformation from the Lutheran and Reformed traditions. Uh, Arndt had a huge impact. He even had actually somewhat of an impact even amongst Roman Catholics. So in the entirety of the Christian world, though he himself certainly had Lutheran convictions, which are apparent throughout his writing. Now, uh, Arndt became a bit of a controversial figure as well, even among Lutherans. Now, he was a controversial figure first for being Lutheran in a Reformed territory, uh, but there were some concerns about what Arndt was writing in his True Christianity. Now, Arndt's influences in his writing were devotional influences, and writing just after the Reformation, Arndt was drawing largely upon medieval writings. And the most influential works upon Arndt's own writing were uh, Thomas Akempis's writing, The Imitation of Christ, the Theologia Germanica, the works of Johann Tauler. These works were, of course, not Lutheran. They preceded Lutheranism as a movement, but they were ones that were impactful on Luther himself. Luther himself published Tauler's sermons. He published the Theologia Germanica. He gave that book its title. It was not originally uh, called that. It was an anonymous work by anonymous, an anonymous author. But it was those devotional writings in that devotional and even, you might say, mystical aspect of Luther's thought that aren't really clung to. And because of that, there was some fear or some worry on behalf of some Lutheran theologians at the time that Arndt was not speaking enough about the forensic justification, that he spoke too much about Christian experiences and the mystical union that the believer has with God. And throughout these controversies, Arndt wrote consistently to defend the fact that he was very much a confessional Lutheran. He held to a very strong doctrine of forensic justification through faith alone, not by anything that we do. And he continued to write about those themes throughout his writing. And in the midst of some of these controversies, uh, a very significant theologian, in fact, the one who it was going to be the most important figure in Lutheran orthodoxy, Johann Gerhard, 
himself wrote treatises defending Arndt, uh, who was kind of a mentor to, to Gerhard and defending his theology and defending his writings as well. And so Arndt's style of, of meditative contemplation, his uh, devotional emphasis would then be impactful for Gerhardt, especially young Gerhardt when he wrote his book, The Sacred Meditations, when he was only 23 years old. Gerhardt helped Arndt find a publisher for his work, and so they had a wonderful working relationship with one another. So Arndt's works are just as impactful today as they were when he first wrote them. I, I read through Arndt's True Christianity every Lent. I didn't read it last Lent because well, a lot of crazy things happened during that season, as we all know, living through COVID um, and a lot of other situations as well. But usually during Lent, the season of Lent, I read through Arndt's True Christianity. And, you know, there, there's so much in there that I just draw from every, every time I read it. It's one of those books that you can continue to go back to. And uh, it's one that I recommend anyone checking out, uh, anyone reading, uh, Lutheran or not. And we have recently published a, a new edition of Arndt's True Christianity. It's in three volumes. And this is an older English translation that we have republished because the ones that are available popularly today are only portions of, of the work. They're not the complete text. So if you do have interest and you want to find out more about Arndt and read his writings, you can find information at jspublishing.org. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.